You got what you asked for, baby boy. What happened there? I'm happy that I won. Sean Shacon. You calling if I raise my? No, I'm just gonna. <laughs> <laughs> Known as one of the most polarizing figures in poker, Sean's journey is as explosive as it is tragic. From winning millions to facing a possible 40 years in prison, his rise and fall shocked the poker world. So what happened to Sean Shaykhan? How did he go from poker glory to a federal prison cell? Stick around and we'll take you through it all. Who is Sean Shaykhan? Sean Shaykhan isn't just any poker player. He's the guy who could tilt anyone, from seasoned pros to rising stars. Known for his bold, in-your-face style, Sean's personality burned bright in the high-stakes world of poker. Born in Iran, Sean moved to the United States as a young man and later found himself in Las Vegas, a city that would become his kingdom and battleground. But poker wasn't his first hustle. Before he became a poker sensation, Sean built his fortune in the beauty industry, owning multiple high-end salons also meant Sean was familiar with managing people, reading their needs, and negotiating. All skills that came in handy in poker, where reading your opponents and anticipating their moves can make or break a hand. His salons attracted a wide range of clients, from Vegas locals to high rollers, and Sean had a knack for understanding what made people tick, a skill that translated directly to his psychological tactics on the fell. Knowing how to get under someone's skin, press their buttons, and keep them guessing became part of his poker identity, and it all stem from his background in business. But Sean's success in the beauty industry did more than just finance his poker career. It set the stage for his fearless persona. With the financial stability his businesses provided, he could adopt an aggressive, fearless approach to poker that other players envied. He didn't have to play conservatively or worry about losing it all on one bad hand. Instead, he could lean into his bold, unpredictable play style, making moves that few others would dare attempt. This gave him a unique, deadly edge at the table, making him one of the most feared and respected players in the room. In the end, Sean's business success became the bedrock of his poker empire, enabling him to bring a level of confidence and security to the game that few others could match. Sean's Meteoric Poker Rise Sean Shaykhan's journey into poker started in the mid-90s as he moved from the beauty industry to the fell, but it was the early 20s poker boom that truly launched him onto the high-stakes stage. With an instinct for risk and a personality as brash as his playstyle, he quickly began making waves among some of the toughest players in Las Vegas. Sean's ascent wasn't just about learning the game, it was about embracing the thrill of high-stakes poker with a confidence that was impossible to ignore. Armed with a fearless approach, he didn't simply aim to compete, he aimed to dominate, using his sharp intuition and relentless style to dismantle the competition. In cash games, where fortunes could swing on a single hand, he thrived, proving that his bold decisions and unwavering table presence were not just bluster, but a genuine strategy. As Sean climbed the ranks, he gained a reputation that made seasoned pros wary. Cash games were his kingdom, a realm where risk-taking ruled, and Sean had a natural talent for making moves that kept opponents off balance. While others meticulously calculated their odds, he thrived on creating uncertainty, forcing his competitors to second-guess their every move. This was more than just poker. It was a calculated mind game that only the bravest could handle. In cash games, Sean wasn't just winning pots. He was taking control of tables, wielding his aggression like a weapon, and showing the poker world that he was a player who could go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the best. Television fame and feuds. As Sean's reputation grew, it was only a matter of time before he hit the screens on Poker After Dark, High Stakes Poker, and other televised poker shows that brought poker's biggest personalities into millions of living rooms. Sean knew the power of the camera and embraced the spotlight with a kind of raw, unfiltered intensity that made him impossible to ignore. With each hand, each calculated taunt, and each fearless play, Sean captivated audiences, adding a level of tension to every game he played. His presence alone brought drama, but his feuds elevated the stakes even further. One of his most infamous clashes came at the 2005 World Series of Poker against Mike The Mouth Mattiso, a poker pro with an equally fiery personality. Sean took it upon himself to relentlessly taunt Matisau, needling him in ways that drove the mouth to the breaking point. What started as subtle jabs escalated to full-blown psychological warfare as Sean questioned Mattiso's plays 
mocked his decisions and refused to relent, even as the tension became almost unbearable. Viewers watched in shock as Madiso, known for his own explosive temper, completely lost his cool, erupting into a heated meltdown. Sean, unfazed, continued his verbal onslaught, knowing he had effectively gotten into Madiso's head. It was poker as performance art, and Sean was the conductor of the chaos. The tension didn't stop there. On high stakes poker, he found another target in Prahlad Friedman, a calm and composed player who became the center of Sean's ire. After claiming a massive pot, Sean went on the offensive, calling Friedman a terrible player and even belittling his past achievements. A verbal jab that visibly shook Friedman. This was no casual trash talk. It was a masterclass in psychological tactics designed to humiliate his opponent and shatter his confidence. The poker community watched in awe, some in shock, others and grudging admiration. Sean's antics weren't just disruptive, they were calculated, a way to gain control and unnerve anyone sitting across from him. These legendary feuds became defining moments in Sean's career, solidifying his reputation as a player who didn't just want to win, he wanted to make sure everyone remembered how he did it. Enjoying the video so far? Mark sure to subscribe and ring that bell. Biggest Poker Accomplishments while Sean was often known for his brash personality and infamous table antics, his skills and accomplishments at the poker table proved he was more than just a character. He was a force. Sean's fearless style wasn't just for show. It was a highly calculated approach that allowed him to achieve some of the most impressive feats in poker. His audacity and willingness to take risks helped him dominate both the tournament circuit and the high stakes cash games that only the best dared to enter. One of Sean's most notable accomplishments came in 2005 when he made a deep run in the prestigious Dawisop main event. With thousands of players vying for the coveted bracelet, Sean navigated his way through intense fields of competition using his sharp instincts and unyielding approach to outlast countless skilled opponents. Though he ultimately fell short of the final table, his performance was a statement. Sean wasn't just a flashy personality, he was a serious contender with a mastery of poker strategy. His ability to read his opponents, adapt to different play styles, and make gutsy decisions under pressure earned him respect among poker's elite and solidified his place in the high-stakes tournament scene. Sean also cashed in multiple other WSOP events, spanning various formats like No Limit Hold'em and Pot Limit Omaha. This versatility was rare. While many players focus on perfecting a single variant, Sean thrived across poker's most challenging formats. His consistency in cashing and his adaptability underscored his deep understanding of the game, proving he could hold his own in any poker variation. To be competitive in both No Limit Hold'em and Pot Limit Omaha at the highest level speaks volumes about his technical skill and ability to stay cool in even the most high-pressure situations. But it was in the cash game scene, the raw, unfiltered battlefield of poker, where Sean's talent truly shone. In the high-stakes cash arenas of Vegas, the atmosphere is intense, the stakes are towering, and the pressure is relentless. These weren't just games, they were tests of endurance, nerve, and mental warfare. Unlike tournaments, where players chase the prestige of trophies and bracelets, cash games demand consistent, razor-sharp play where even a single mistake can cost thousands, if not hundreds of thousands, of dollars. Sean thrived in these settings. With his fearless approach and masterful command of psychology, he could sway the dynamics of a table, using his brash style to keep opponents guessing and off their game. For Sean, cash games rewarded the qualities he valued most. Consistency, mental resilience, and an unshakable self-confidence. While tournament play requires endurance over multiple days and countless hands, cash games demand instantaneous calculation, intuition, and unwavering confidence in each move. Sean had all of these in spades. The consistency he displayed in these games allowed him to build an impressive bankroll and reputation that many tournament champions envied. Sean Shaykhan may never have captured a WSOP bracelet, but his accomplishments in both tournaments and cash games have left a lasting impact. Sean's downfall and legal nightmare. While Sean was shaking up the poker world with his audacious personality and daring moves, there were shadows in his past that refused to stay hidden. In 2022, Sean's life took a dramatic and devastating turn as he pled guilty to a serious federal offense, conspiracy to distribute marijuana. This wasn't some minor misstep or slap on the wrist offense. This was a federal crime with staggering implications, revealing a world far removed from the poker tables of Las Vegas. The charge linked Sean to 
into a large-scale marijuana distribution network, with prosecutors arguing he played a crucial role in a web of operations that fueled the underground drug trade. Facing a potential sentence of up to 40 years in federal prison and a $5 million fine, Sean found his poker career and his freedom slipping away in the face of this high-stakes legal battle. The details that emerged painted a chilling picture of a man allegedly involved in a network that wasn't just operating on a small scale but was expansive and highly organized. Federal prosecutors didn't mince words. They emphasized that this wasn't a one-time lapse, but a calculated involvement in an illegal enterprise that affected countless lives. In court, the prosecution laid out a case that was as shocking as it was damaging. They painted Sean as a man whose influence in the network was substantial, someone whose decisions had a significant impact on the operations. The image of a fierce poker competitor transformed into that of a man enmeshed in a criminal network, a stark contrast to the persona he'd built in the world of poker. His poker reputation, once characterized by confidence and control, now appeared tainted, with prosecutors arguing that his actions off the felt were just just as high stakes and far more dangerous. The Sentencing and Fallout on November 6, 2023, Sean stood before the United States District Court for the Southern District of California, awaiting his fate. His legal team fought hard, downplaying his role in the operation and attempting to distance him from the inner workings of the network. But the federal prosecutors weren't backing down. They argued that Sean's role was far from minor, stressing the severity and scale of the operation. They painted him as a key player, unflinchingly presenting evidence of his involvement and driving home the reality of the harm done by such an enterprise. The verdict? A four-year prison sentence. A fraction of the potential maximum, but still a drastic fall from the freedom and fortune Sean had once enjoyed. But the penalties didn't end there. With the possibility of additional financial penalties, Sean's hard-earned wealth, built over years of high-stakes poker and business ventures, now stood on shaky ground. The court's decision sent a clear message. No amount of fame or past success could overshadow the consequences of his actions. For a man who had once dominated the high-stakes tables, this sentencing was a brutal reckoning. Gone were the luxurious Vegas suites, the late-night games, and the spotlight. In their place, Sean faced the stark reality of a federal prison cell and a life dramatically changed. Scheduled for release in 2028, his freedom now hinges on time served. While the poker world reflects on the tragic downfall of a once prominent figure, those familiar with his reputation, one of a poker maverick and fearless personality, now watch as he serves time for actions that went far beyond the table. The Legacy of Sean Shaykan Sean's story is a hard-hitting reminder of how fortunes can shift in the blink of an eye. Especially in the high-stakes world of poker, he'll be remembered not just for his wins, his fearless style, and the intense rivalries he created on television, but also for the controversies and decisions that ultimately redefined his legacy. Sean's life is a cautionary tale, a vivid illustration of how choices made off the felt can change the trajectory of even the most promising career. And to the poker community, Sean's story resonates as as both inspiration and warning, a portrait of talent that soared only to be grounded by personal choices. It's a narrative that underscores the duality of poker, a game that celebrates risk and audacity, but much like life, also demands responsibility and discipline. For those who watched him go from a rising poker star to a man facing the consequences of his past, Sean Shaykhan's legacy is etched in both brilliance and caution. Love the drama of poker's biggest personalities? Smash that like button hit subscribe, and don't miss the next story of high stakes and high drama.